welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you are a former subscriber, viewer, um, hello. I know it's been a minute, but I am finally back on the channel. I have been MIA. I just moved to Nashville. I started a new job. Um, I got a new apartment. There's a lot of like changes that have happened recently and it has kept me from YouTube. And I also got engaged. And so with that change, I wanted to talk a little bit about that and show you guys some wedding dresses that I have been trying on. If you saw my last video, you would have seen that I was engaged if you watched till the very end. But other than that, I really haven't made any formal announcement, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, I'm really excited. My fiance is awesome, and so it's gonna be, I don't know, it's a very exciting time. So I live in Nashville now, but I'm originally from Pennsylvania, so I did all the wedding things in Pennsylvania, Maryland area. So if you are from that area, then maybe this will help you if you are actually in the wedding stage. But if not, then just have fun watching some of these dresses. I just enjoyed the whole, whole process. Honestly, I was actually kind of bummed that I found my dress so early on because I so enjoyed just like trying on fun dresses. I'm always one to watch like old movies or things where women get to wear these beautiful dresses like the actresses and I'm literally so jealous because I think dresses are just so cool and the different, like historically speaking, all the cool dresses throughout history. So when people get to wear these like beautiful dresses, I'm just like, oh, I wish I could do that. I don't know. I've always just had like this desire to do that. So being in a wedding dress place where you could literally just choose every dress in the store and try it on was overwhelming, but also so much fun. Like I, I cannot express how much fun I had and all that to say that yes, I am sad that I found a wedding dress very quickly. I'm also known for being extremely indecisive about literally everything. So there's been a running joke since I was little that I would not be able to decide on a wedding dress. It was always like, oh, well, we can't wait for the day that Reagan has to find a wedding dress because like she'll never decide on one. That was the running joke for literally my entire life. Um, so I am really proud that I just proved my family wrong. It's like, no, I found it but basically right away. Well, sort of. Anyways, I want to show you guys these dresses because this is the fun part, just getting to see what's out there. Um, obviously, there's so many options and I went into it sort of winging it. I had a certain dress that I loved that I had in mind. It's like, this would be cool to find something similar to this. And I'm not going to show you because the dress that I ended up finding is actually very similar to it. Um, so if I show it, it kind of, it kills the surprise. Basically for my fiance, because I'm not, you know, I'm not showing him. And just in case he watches this, we have to be careful. But um, yeah, so the dress I found is similar to the one that I wanted. That being said, the dresses that I tried on, every other dress I tried on was not anything remotely close to what I ultimately bought. Um, so I was very open-minded in terms of just trying on everything and seeing what works because I feel like you always watch those like say yes to the dress shows and everyone's just like, oh, I want a ball gown and then they end up loving like a mermaid fit or whatever, right? It's never what you think. So I just wanted to be like, you know, whatever works, we're just gonna try them all. Um, so that was kind of the, the philosophy there. Um, I would say the only thing that I was really looking for was just something different. And I know that's a cliche, but I really wanted something that was just a little bit not your normal wedding dress. And that is definitely not everybody's taste by any means. Um, so I was, yeah, I was just trying to like go out of the box a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I also wanted something that was going to age well. Just trying to find something that when I look back in 30 years, it's still gonna be beautiful and cool, even though, you know, obviously it tells a little bit of the story of like the time that you were getting married, but something that still looks cool all these years later. Mainly I joke because my mom got married in the 80s, and so the 80s had like these giant puffy sleeves, and they were just so, so 80s, that they really like, they did not transcend time the way that I hope that my dress does. Let me say it that way. Okay, so the first place that we went, it was called the Ivory Concept. I'll put their Instagram here in case you are from the area. Very cool store. 10 out of 10 recommend. Is that it? Yep. Do you want a picture? So the only other thing that I want to note is that the brand that I had specifically been the most interested in in my like minimal research that I did do um, was at that store. So I wanted I wanted to go there specifically to try on dresses from this certain brand. Um, I think the brand is called Alina Lena. Alina Alina. I don't know. I'll, I'll put the Instagram here. I, I'm very bad at these names. When I got there, the first thing that she said was like, these are super popular. You're not going to be able to get it in time for your wedding because we're doing a pretty fast engagement um, about like 
I guess it was five or six months at the time that I was trying on dresses. So she was like, it's gonna take at least eight months and all these things, like it just wasn't gonna work. So I had to immediately like nix my first plan of trying on these, this specific designer, which was a bummer, but it ended up being okay. The owner chose some, I chose some, and then we started trying them on. So I'm just gonna go through. So this first dress was very sparkly. Um, it was very, it had a lot of different textures, a lot going on. And one before you get there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Literally nothing. That train is gorgeous. Oh my land. Wow. Thank you. I loved the shape of it. I loved that 90s style neckline, but it was just, it had like these little flowers on it and then the little flowers were just everywhere. And I, I wanted something, I don't know, like simple, c consistent, I don't know how to describe it, but that dress, it was beautiful. It was just like a lot, a lot of things happening. So on to the next one. So this next dress is strapless. In no way was I interested in strapless, like zero percent. Um, but she had pulled this dress and thought like, you know, I'll give it a shot. But again, it was the same designer and it had these weird like flowers that stuck off of it. And so that was hanging me up. Have the flower. It's like the mermaid or whatever. Yeah. I don't think you're gonna like it. <laughs> so, so I liked I liked the fit of it, but again, there was a lot going on. I loved the color. I loved that it wasn't white. Like that was a, that was a win for me. But the rest of it was just kind of like I don't know. It was interesting. <laughs> also, I'm so awkward in these videos. I'm just I didn't I didn't know what to do. Like you walk out in like this dress, and then I don't know. You know what I mean? Like you don't want to insult it, but then you also don't want to like like I love it. Also, in the, in the back of this video, you can see, I'll zoom in here, the, the designer that I originally came for. So all of her stuff was like right behind this mirror. So the whole time it was just lingering there. Like the dresses that I had like literally loved and thought I was like 100% going to buy, they were just right behind me and I couldn't try them on. So that was tough. Okay, so this next dress was very simple. It was also strapless, which again, um, but it was just like, it had a cool like lace detailing to it. Um, sort of Gatsby era fabric, if, if that makes sense. Um, overall, just a really pretty dress, but it was very, it was very simple. Come on up to the front for me. You can see the scallop edge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, I like the pattern See, on the See, this thing is too ready. As I watch these videos back, I wish I would have played them for longer, or like we would have kept recording so you could hear what we're talking about. But yeah, I liked the pattern. It was a cool dress. Um, it, since it was strapless, it just wasn't, like I didn't want to have to be worrying about that all day and I don't have like, it's not flattering on smaller individuals like myself. Let me, let me say it that way. Okay, so this next dress, I would say it's it's very trendy. It's very like, 2022 I, I that's um it, it's unique i definitely have not seen anything like it which is cool but i did not pull this one i just thought like i, I was just gonna try them basically anyone ever anybody gave me i would just be willing to try it on but yeah this one was very interesting not me but cool so i like the neckline i like the squareness yeah you need a square Like, I like how that kind of yeah. drops there. Yeah. It's cool. Lift up your it's arm. Oh. Has... It was like a very open back and then it was just mesh, so it looked like it was completely open. Um, so that was cool too. But overall, wasn't 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 speaking to me. Okay, this next one, another square neckline. But again, it just it it, it needed to be consistent and it, this one was not fully co co coherent consistent it wasn't consistent the whole way down it was like sparkly not sparkly it's not the best. Well, she she agrees with myself no i like that nice. you feel yeah. differently about it out here i just i think it doesn't have as much wow so this one I didn't like at all, and it was funny when my friend, you can hear it kind of in the beginning, but my friend who was filming me, she immediately was like, mm, you don't like this one, do you? And I guess I had certain facial expressions when I came out with ones that I liked more than others. Um, 
and so that one was just like a meh nothing dress okay so now now guys now we're getting to the good stuff this dress i love this dress this was absolutely one of the dresses that i ended up like considering significantly and it's, it's really hard to capture on camera which honestly is one of the reasons why i ended up not going with it because it's a very weird dress but basically it had like this netting fabric over top of like a f like a a fabric of sequins so the netting was over top of the sequins so sometimes you could see the sequins peeking through because the whole dress had like sequins under it but you couldn't always see them it was it was like the way the light would hit um it was very interesting in person it was really beautiful but it sort of didn't photograph well i loved this dress so when i came out i was very excited about this one <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. Dang, girl. Ooh, wow. I keep watching this back being like, I do really love this one. So I loved the train on this one so, so much because it was very chill and my wedding's gonna be by the water um, and it's gonna be like super, I don't know, low key, fun, coastal, vintage, beachy. That's kind of how I've been describing it. Um, so this dress really, really like matched theme way more than my dress that I actually bought did um or does but I don't know I don't care that much but I'm just saying like in terms of matching this one 100% was like it, it fit the, the theme the best especially with the netting like it was sort of coastally and beachy so after trying this one on at the mirror um we wanted to try to like go into the sun to see the to see the way that the like sparkles shimmered a little bit more because it was hard like i said to capture on camera yeah yeah you can taste that oh yeah turn here oh, yeah. oh. oh you're fine <laughs> yeah wow so right now i'm actually yeah. gonna have you step back here it's just so it kind of not beautiful to oh there that's a great yeah. oh wow yeah. still doesn't mm -hmm. capture how pretty it is i'm not really catching the sparkles wow this one's yeah it's super cool it's so different yeah, that one is... Is that on your list? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I loved this dress. Guys, it's... Mm, I haven't really looked at this since I since I bought my other dress. I'm not, I'm not second-guessing myself. It's fine. But, like, this dress is just easier than the one that I bought. <laughs> is that the word? Yeah, it's, it's, it's easier. <gasps> I'm struggling. I'm struggling. This, this dress, this, this specific shot of this dress was, like... That was the vision like it, it really it really worked it looked so beautiful um i i loved it i was honestly probably ready to just buy it like at the store um but it was a little bit higher than what i budgeted for um and i just wanted to be like completely sure so i don't make i don't literally buy things like over i don't know like over a hundred dollars before like going home and like thinking on it for a while so buying a wedding dress I was not gonna buy right away and I kind of made that clear to them um, so I had to like go home think about it and then I'd call in and place the order which was totally my intention like that was the plan and so then she brought out a veil and we put the veil on to see the whole thing I'm not an emotional person I thought that I was but I didn't I didn't get emotional and if there's anyone else watching this who's recently gotten married or engaged or any of that um, and you try on the dress there is definitely this element of like I, I feel like I was supposed to be emotional, um, and I was happy, but I don't get, I don't know, I wasn't like crying, I was like, this is the one, you know what I mean? And so it, it, it set a weird expectation in my head, like those shows where everyone just like cries, that, that's just, that's not how I am, so. Wow. Oh. Wow, that is so wild. Oh my, oh my god, I just got the chills. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Have to sit back behind. No, I mean, I actually like that. It's kind of. Yeah, this is so sad. I just kept asking for my friend's opinion. Like, she just like knows me better than myself, so I'm just kept being like, what do you think? Tell me, tell me how you feel. Now we were deciding on between veils. Um, I was definitely gonna do a veil, but I, um, I definitely like the veil look. But 
the one was like really long and kind of had some volume which was cool and then they gave me another one that was more of a like a soft tool and so it just fell like it didn't it didn't hold any volume to it um and so it was just long and kind of you know so we tried on both of these okay see your other one i like the way it hung better it's, it's more like this intro, this but is I definitely... yeah this is coming too straight down hmm do people ever wear them over the front ever you want to see one They're this heavy or they, are they too too let me try one. one so also, I was just curious if anybody ever did wear the veil over the front anymore because, you know, I feel like that used to be such a thing and now I don't really see it so much at weddings. Um, so I had asked them and then like the girl got me a veil that people actually do that. <laughs> that, that feels extra. If anyone's done it, kudos to you because I freaking love that but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. You just feel like you're like trapped in a net. I don't know, it was a very oh, weird sensation, so I, 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 I didn't enjoy it. I love that look. I know Reagan's like this. Well, it just feels like- Look at Reagan's. But Reagan's all about the drama, you know? Like- You hit my face with my nail. Okay. Into that way, it won't be. Oh, that's so <laughs> I feel, I mean, I love the look of it on other people too, but like- <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I, I don't know, I always want, I kind of was more recently like, well, this would be cool. Yeah, it's... It's not really... You, you, that would I think cool. I would feel... Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that didn't happen. Long story short with veils is that I, if I wanted to do one, it needed to be a long one because there's a lot of times where people wear short veils or like really soft little ones and then the wind will just catch them and in all of the pictures and then like the whole day, you're just dealing with a veil that's like flying. And I used to do wedding videos. I still occasionally do film weddings, so I, I'm very familiar with that struggle, so I definitely wanted to, even though it's a little bit more dramatic to have a longer veil, I think that it's effective for being more, like, staying in its place, so that's why I was trying on a bunch of long veils, um, but overall, obviously, wearing a veil was definitely, like, it made it, it made it feel real. <laughs> but I, this other short veil is also really pretty, but I, I, and I almost would have preferred something like that. But like I said, when it flies up, it's so annoying. It, it's not worth it. <laughs> You're like, I'm kind of like that. I know, but are you going to have it wrapped around you like that? Like, it's it's not a shawl. Yeah, that's true. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> also, I'm so sorry for all this random commentary that you're hearing, like, no one knew we were filming for YouTube except for my friend, so we were just talking and she was just filming whatever was happening. Last thing for this dress, she was showing me how to do the um, the bustle or like what bustle would look right, what we could do, um, and there's options for bustles. I personally hate bustles. Like, by the time you have to bustle a dress, it just kill it kills the look of the dress in so many ways. Um, I get it logistically, like you, you can't go all day with a giant train, but I do not like the look of bustles at all. These were not horrible but for what they have to be, but obviously dresses were not designed to originally be bustled for a reason, um, so I'm just not a huge yeah. fan of them. Get in there, Megan. Right below the butt. <laughs> so like, okay. the butt. Yeah. yeah. Or there's one, the French. Right now. Yeah, here I'll do that. Okay. You don't have to do that. Megan, this will be your job. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a French bustle, and it's looking at the bustle up. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. You just saw that part of the video. The I like that one better. <laughs> I actually like kept the shape of the dress a little bit better, which was really cool. I forgot about that one. And I just ordered a bustle on my current dress, and I don't think I said French. Um, okay, what's well, the next one we tried out? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, this one. Here's the thing I have to say. All these dresses are absolutely beautiful. Like, they're, they're so cool. Like, dresses, I just, like I said, I love dresses. I think they're cool. This one, though, it was very, I think it had, like, confetti on it. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. There were those little flowers. Those little flowers really bugged me with this designer because the rest of the dresses were cool, but they just had these little things on them. Neckline, just in this fabric. Hmm. A couple of months. <laughs> and that's what sucks is you can't see it until it's then you're like, oh, that's like the yeah. rescue tape going. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. No, mm. it's really, it's a cool pattern, but it's, it's Why nice. do you It's a cool pattern, but not for me, is basically when I compliment a dress that I don't like, that's what I'm implying. Like, I love the pattern. Not, not for me. Not, not on me. <laughs>
Okay, this next dress um, is again something I would say is very like 2022, um, trendy, but also modern, modern, trendy, really simple. I actually loved this dress, um, but the more that we were all talking about it, it was something that you could buy for a couple, like a hundred bucks and wear to a wedding in a different color. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like it kind of had that, that cow neck sort of situation, more structured, but that overall look that you're probably seeing a lot. Um, and it, it just, basically someone just said like envision that in pink and like shorter and you could wear that as like a cocktail dress summer which is very true so it just wasn't like distinct enough for a wedding that i was wanted to go for but i did i loved this dress oh my gosh uh -huh. so with a plain dress like this this is the pearls. Not kidding. i do love the pearls i'm a sucker for those pearls we'll give you a pearl veil oh to give you some thanks. texture on top oh that's cool oh that is cool now this is the same drapey material. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a great neckline too. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I know. Because I'm Gabby. It didn't have that. Yeah, yeah I like yeah. how it comes up there, and that is just. Pearl veil though, that's that's a new thing in the last couple of seasons, and that is like, that's a vibe. I, I do love that. Okay, I was like, do you feel like you're missing sparkle, Reagan? I mean, I like, yeah. I mean, yes. Yes. But I like the Definitely. need to like give it a little bit of sparkle, but I know I wouldn't be wearing that all day. Okay. Hmm. So. I mean, I love this, the top for sure. It's like kind of, it's plain, but that's not necessarily that thing at the bottom. Hmm. So like, she asks if I'm missing sparkle because Here's the thing with Sparkle. I grew up being obsessed. I mean, even these earrings I'm wearing, this is new for me. But I used to wear like the huge earrings, the, the blingy handbag, the blingy shirts. Like that was what everyone knew me growing up of just wearing so much jewelry and so much like sequin. Like it was like, I was known for sequins um, back in the day, the limited two days, as you're all probably familiar with. But for my wedding, I don't know, I started seeing that trend coming back and I kind of liked it. So I was definitely, I kept saying like, oh, I kind of, it'd be fun to have like something shimmery or whatever. Um, so that's why they kept asking me that. Okay, so the one other dress that I tried on from the Ivory Concept that I absolutely loved, it was so beautiful, it was so cool, like on, on a hanger, it was so cool and beautiful. It was way over my budget. Um, so I just wanted to try it on because again, I loved the dress. And so I just wanted to be like, I just wanted to try on a dress that I thought was beautiful, but I kind of always knew that it wasn't gonna be something I would be able to afford or like it was worth spending more on necessarily. Um, I wasn't necessarily confident that I would spend more if I loved it, but I still, I just wanted to see it on. It was my one little like risque move that I did where I just tried on a dress that was a little bit more expensive. But um, I realize now that we got um, a picture of it, like a live picture, but not video. So I'm just gonna make this little picture live so that you, get, you guys can like get a little quick glance at the dress. But um, it was so like beautiful and unique and romantic and, and, and like whimsical and vintage. There's a lot of words that I could use to describe it. The material was so soft and beautiful, but the only problem was the top, not only did it not fit, especially just in this picture, it, it, it didn't fit right, but it was it was a weird top and everyone thought the same way. Like there's, there's this weird little like strap that kind of goes across and it just doesn't make sense. But other than that, the dress was so cool. So it was such a bummer because everyone's kind of like, oh, that would be cool if this thing wasn't here and we all felt it. Um, but it was such a cool dress. I'm, I'm secretly sort of glad that there is like a little issue with it because I would have actually probably really loved it um, and then been felt like some form of pressure to buy it. The back was so cool. Wow, the more that I look at this dress, it was just so unique. Hide. Okay, so the last one from this store um, that I tried on was the brand that was not available. You know, we get done trying on seven or eight dresses, however many it was here. And then, um, you know, in the decision phase, I was like, man, I just, in my head, there was one dress that I thought I was coming there to purchase. 
And so me being very specific with like my vision, like I saw it and I thought that that would be the one. So it was really hard for me to decide on anything else because I was there for that dress. And so even though I knew that I couldn't, I could not have it, like physically I could not get it in time for my wedding, there was like a part of me that needed to see it on and know if this was the style of dress just in the future in general that I wanted to go after. Um, slash if there's any other way I could like find this dress available anywhere else, or if it was like not gonna happen, it, you know, didn't don't like it, not gonna happen. Um, so I couldn't move on from that dress. Like I needed closure, basically. That's such a pathetic way of putting it, but that is kind of how it felt. So I said to the lady, I was like, look, I know I'm not gonna get this dress. I'm not gonna be sad. Like if I love it, I'm not gonna be sad. I'll just, it'll be fine. But I need to see it on me to kind of just to know, to have the closure. So she let me try it on. She was like very hesitant because I think obviously there's a reason why they wouldn't like tease the girls with these things they can't actually have. Um, that's just very much like, I know, just let me try it on anyways, just so I can close out that chapter and move on, you know? So we did. And let me tell you, the dresses online for this photo are insane. They're beautiful and they're like everything that I had kind of envisioned for a dress. Um, and then in person, the dress was still really pretty, but I realized I did not have the body type the the top the chest area was not the type of chest that you needed to make this dress work if i if that, that's probably the best way of saying it like you need to really fill it out um and i i i didn't <laughs> and so it just it wasn't the vibe once once you saw it <laughs> once you see it on me you'll be like <laughs> you don't like yeah. the top as much yeah. do you uh -huh. No, it's it's not as like it doesn't give you any. It's not as pretty. On it, you. It's really not. It's not funny. It's wow. So rigid. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds really heavy too. It, it, is it? Oh. It was significantly heavier. Yeah. This oh beating yeah. is like. You're gonna get a nice little workout. <laughs> Your calories are yeah. running dead. That, that, yeah. Oh my so man, yes. That's what an funny. interesting concept. I was shocked when it didn't look at all like the way that it did on Instagram. Shocking, right? Um, but no, it just, it, it wasn't, it, it was weird. It was not, I don't know, it's so weird to see something that you've seen on Instagram so much to see it in person. It was very, I mean, it was a stunning dress, but it just, it wasn't gonna fit me right. It wasn't just gonna be, it was very heavy. It wasn't gonna be the vibe. Okay, so that is all from the first store. I'll show you guys the second store too because you know, while we're at it, might as, well, might as well show you a few more dresses. So I'd gotten done there, loved it, was very set on that like sparkly dress, like that was 100% gonna be the one. Um, and then, I, so I was messaging with this, um, this girl from my hometown on Instagram who is a wedding planner, and I'll put her info here if you are looking in the area. I was asking her just if she had any other recommendations for any other place that had kind of like unique dresses in the area, and she gave me this place called Love It at Stella's, which is in Maryland. I had one other website, and there was one dress at this place that I saw and was like, oh, that that gets it. That that goes back to the original vision from like the very, very start. Um, and it was very, it's very interesting. <laughs> it's very interesting. Um, and so I saw that dress and they had it available and I could try it on. And I was like, okay, we're gonna go there. We're gonna try on this dress. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna go with the first one that I love from the ivory concept and it'll be win-win. Okay, so the last dress I'm going to show you is one from this place, the other place that we went to. Um, I thought I had more videos, and I just texted my mom because she was the one filming, and she deleted them. I I don't think I ever got them from her before they were deleted, so unfortunately, you can't see these dresses, which is a bummer, but you're, you've probably seen enough anyways. Um, but these dresses, I went a lot more like poofy dress or very in, I just went very interesting with these dresses because I already knew that I was there for one specific dress so I was kind of just having fun with like oh yeah let's try this one let's try this one just just to kind of see um and I'll insert like a picture here is a picture of one of the more ball gowny dresses and clearly you can tell by my face in this picture I I was not feeling it once I tried on the one dress that I bought all these other dresses were kind of like Nah, it, it's a different, it's a different vibe. Final dress that I'll show you just because I thought this one was funny because in the dress it was like basically sheer and it had sequins on it 
and you could see the padding through the dress, which I guess is, is, is like a style. To me, that's just sort of weird. Um, but you could clearly see like the pads. And so this particular dress had like very severe pads already in them. And so it just, it just, I had these like fake boobs just like sitting there. <laughs> I just kept laughing because the chest was just very like. <laughs> Bring it in a little bit. Hmm. I like how it, like when you twist it all just kind of. Mm -hmm. I know all the dresses do that, but. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I would say between, like, if I'm going this route, then I'd probably go more the, the extra one, even though I really like the beading. <laughs> I was just saying. I was giving it random compliments. Yeah, I would say because I was laughing. Sorry, that one was just funny to me. But that being said, I ultimately found my dress. It was significantly cheaper than I was expecting a dress to be, which was a huge, a huge win. Um, especially for me, who had planned that I would probably find, you know, like pricey things and have to figure out how I can swing it. Um, so it was it was super, super nice that I found a dress that was in budget really cool really different i just went to get uh fitted recently here and got to like be in it again because this was a couple months ago when all this was happening and it's it's i don't know it's more pressure because once you try it on when you own it you can't not like it anymore because you've already purchased it you know so it was it was still really beautiful they're like you know, now they're sizing it so it doesn't fit quite right yet um but i'm excited for it and I'm excited to show you guys because it is definitely different. I think it's fun, that's all that matters. But anyways, so that being said, those are all of the dresses that I'm gonna be able to show you guys today. Obviously, when I get married here in July, I can show you guys the actual dress and I do have some footage of me in it and that whole process of, of actually finding the one that I was going to say yes to. So um, yeah, it was it was great. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for sticking through to the end if you've watched it. If you are not a subscriber yet, it would be, mm, I would be super grateful if you would subscribe. Um, I post a lot of thrifting content, but now that I'm getting married and there's a lot of other life things happening, I'm gonna start showing just other things outside of the thrifting world. Um, so if you were all interested in just another friend on YouTube, I'm here, and um, you can check me out on Instagram too if you would like, and get to know me a little bit better over there, but that is everything for today, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, this was super fun to make, I'm just sitting here like laughing to myself, reminiscing, let me know which one you liked the best in the comments, I'm very, I'm very intrigued to see um, what your thoughts are, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, thank you so much, and have a lovely day, bye guys!